approximately 1 out of 1,000 parachutes, do not function 100% when you need them to. Yet the average ISDP is excited about the prospects of jumping out of the perfectly fine and moving plane. They lack fear, are calculative, and embrace change. What is more? We will tell you these five ways ISDPs learn to take risks. Number 5. No fear of failure. What is an ISDP? Probably someone who listens to Dermot Kennedy's debut album, Without Fear. ISDPs are generally competent and strategic with their decisions. It comes off as though they are running off to be free, but honestly, they have thought through their choices. Moreover, ISDPs do not fear worst-case scenarios. They have so much control and ease with problem-solving that it does not matter the worst case, they will correct everything. Somehow, that propels them in their careers in life. Not holding back due to second-guessing your actions is the best way to build confidence as a risk-taker. The anxiety and focus move towards positivity, and we all know that having a positive mindset wins the race. Therefore, it is a crucial tool ISDPs harness to learn about taking a risk and successfully testing it out. The lack of fear of failure is tied to the efficient risk analysis of ISDPs. They are observant and gather information within their immediate surroundings without drawing attention to themselves. We will discuss their risk assessment skills with you shortly. Number 4. Calculative The ISDP does not make any moves unless they are in control. One might call them risk takers, but they do not see it that way themselves. To illustrate, an ISDP will easily throw themselves out of a moving plane if they are in control of the parachute. Still, they will ensure that they wear more than one parachute to be on the safer side. One in every 1,000 parachutes does not operate with 100% accuracy. The record for parachute fatalities is one in every 167,000 jumps. That is why skydivers always descend with three parachutes to be on the safer side. Now, imagine if the three you have were the faulty ones in the last 3,000 fatality. We could add that surfing, racing, and skydiving are careers and hobbies for celebrated ISDP personalities. If you struggle to take risks, it is time to learn from an ISDP in your life. If it is making new friends in your new city or starting your business, being calculative is the answer to your problems. Make a calculative effort to subscribe to this channel today. We will give you everything you need to know about MBTI personality types. Otherwise, you cannot call yourself a risk taker. Do it now. Number three, risk assessment skills. ISDP strengths and weaknesses result in the resourceful qualities that we admire and depend on. Therefore, we could also learn from them. ISDPs have a risk assessment system, even if they have not directly implemented one. One does not need a masterclass on risk to write down the pros and cons of a new challenge. Think about it this way. If things go wrong in a race, you can come back next time and win. If things go well, you will feel good about yourself. This side-by-side -side analysis gives insight into what the ISDP must do, thereby teaching them to take more risks. Because honestly, Aside from murder or other criminal code violations, nothing is too scary if you have the right positive words for yourself, and their boredom with repetition is enough motivation. To properly assess and accept risk is to be unafraid of change. ISDPs crave change and can make decisions purposely out of boredom and the need for some thrill in their lives. We will present more on the ISDP's embrace of change shortly. Number 2. New Skills as Robert Greene puts it, the future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. Going outside one's comfort zone can be rewarding in self-confidence and perfecting one's talents. Newer skills are only harnessing old skills to assimilate new things. For instance, when you are in academia, teaching with the same learning materials could get boring. Thus, ISDPs will try their hands on new technology and tricks to enhance their performance. These gut feelings to try something new and the age-old stereotype of ISDPs being excellent at everything makes their claim to risk-taking profound. They learn to be risky because they have to get by with new ways to do things. As resourceful as they are, they will not rest until they can do everything that will be of help to the people around them. 
Eventually, their steps into the circles of newer talents become their introduction to risk and danger. What new skills would you learn if you were a risk taker? Share your responses in the comments below. Number 1. Embracing Change ISDP personality traits make them excellent schemers. While they may not necessarily be interested in structure and rules, they sure have formulas to succeed. Instead of quitting their jobs to start their business, they will use their spare time to build and launch it full-time when it takes off. Then people see it and congratulate them for branching out, not realizing that they have been working at it for a long time. Rather than leap into a vast change, ISDPs embrace the difference at the moment. For example, if they start disliking their jobs, they will take a break to rejuvenate. And while doing that, they could start something and never return or come back refreshed to work with the old team. For ISDPs, decisions are for the moment and not grounded forever. They learn to take risks in small quantities and the moment and then build them up into something massive. Still on ISDPs and their love for risk, here is a video you will enjoy, racing, flying, or firefighting. Why the ISDP in love with danger?